eLoans. Application determines eligibility. More at WOMPLY.com slash NPR. And from iDrive, providing cloud backup, full system so backup, this, uh, and on site iDrive. This is the boom box I received today. I've been testing it uh, this afternoon, playing around with it for the uh, FM, AM, and shortwave. A few observations I already have off of it. The FM is actually surprisingly good. So this is a v WBPS station from Burlington, Vermont. So when a radio actually receives that, I know that it's actually a decent FM radio. Telescopic is collapsed, but here every radio that receives VPS, WPS needs to have its Antenna collapse pretty much as there's a lot of strong FM stations here. So on FM, it's actually good. Medium wave, it's uh, not too bad actually. Uh, I've been able to uh, really get the stations uh, like the stations that are from. Uh, A lot of the stations that are out of town, like uh, CFRA 580, uh, w, the uh, WVMT 620, they've been coming in quite well on the radio too. It has a little bit of a finicky tuning to it because it's actually an analog dial, but obviously by the way that it tunes, it tunes in steps, so you see that you're actually tuning a DSP chip. So they probably use the Silicon Integrated 47, 34, 35 series in this radio as uh, a all-in-one radio receiver thing. So that explains why it sounds weird when tuning. This is WDMP. This is CFRA, Ottawa. It's kind of, um, like I said, it's a little finicky in tuning. There we go. You see that it's very close and it's kind of a little large in its uh, filters, probably. One of the things that is weird is all the spurious signals popping up on AM. That is a very strange thing, and there's a lot of them. Are everywhere. I don't know if it's probably created internally in the receiver. I don't see that with other radios, but uh, that's one very bizarre thing. And in the tuning of the uh, shortwave bands, well, of course you must extend the telescopic when you do that. That's where it's a problem. You see this? A lot of FM breakthrough. Not everywhere, but enough that In some cases, it might make some shortwave reception bad. So in order to tune it on shortwave, I actually have to select the proper area of my home where the FM breakthrough is less of a problem. But once that is done, I do tune shortwave. So you see here, it's getting nothing from this position. Now, this is not the best place in my house for actually a shortwave reception, and I'll have more videos tuning the bands like a little later also today. Uh, but FM breakthrough is uh, an issue that is uh, a problem. And here, you know, if you want to test out if a radio can do a job, it's the place for that with all the FM breakthrough of signals that can happen actually. But um, I've played around and I, I did get some, uh, some shortwave signals. It's not totally dead, I mean. You just got to treat it properly. There is one station. Looks like W R M I. One of the interesting things I didn't notice also 
and here is how it actually can also have mixing products the receiver can't handle big antennas <laughs> I actually did an experiment which was rather useless um, since my W6 LVP loop does have an FM filter and FM um, breakthrough is a problem I plugged in the uh, W6 LVP with alligator clip on the telescopic and what it did is that yeah there were no FM breakthrough but the strong signals from WWCR for example were popping up everywhere across the band so it can cope with large antennas and it does have FM breakthrough if you are in a city like Montreal where there's a lot of FM stations if you would live in a place that's a rural area it might be surprising because when I find it a spot where FM breakthrough is less of a problem I noticed that it actually isn't that bad it seems to uh, quite sensitive actually once again you'll have to deal with some really finicky tuning from this with the 5 kilohertz and the weird DSP mix that they did in there but uh, it's kind of weird anyways more videos coming up today I'll, I'll try to tune some stations uh, throughout the night on shortwave bands you guys will see how it works I'll try to find a way to actually uh, put an antenna that minimizes the FM breakthrough and maximizes shortwave uh, to uh, demonstrate the radio. I played with the Bluetooth, sounds great. I played with uh, the tapes, of course this is mono, it has a mono uh, head and the tape layer which is weird, I, I still don't understand why in 2021 they, they can't put you know stereo heads in here, because I mean the radio is stereo, it's really the head that's not, because if I play Bluetooth music, uh, you definitely hear that the radio is capable of stereo. But uh, that's, you know, some of the weird stuff that you find in cheap Chinese radios. So more to come. Hope you enjoyed the videos. If you do, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.